Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the opportunity to speak on this item. Colleagues, I rise today to urge a no vote on the transportation budget. We have a roads crisis here in Michigan that every single driver in the state is aware of. Michigan roads got a D minus on the American Civil Society of Civil Engineers 2018 report card, D minus. 11% of our state bridges are structurally deficit. 57% of our state roads will be in poor condition by 2030. And the picture is even more dire locally. In my district, 20% of our local bridges are in poor condition. Only 26% of our local roads are in good condition. Colleagues, we have a member addressing the body. Can I have your attention, please? Chair recognizes Representative Brixey. Think about that for a second. Only a quarter of the roads are in good condition. That is staggering and a very sad reality. My residents were so upset by this that they overwhelmingly supported a $35 million road proposal in August to fix township local roads. How this crisis came about shouldn't be a surprise to any of us. We rank 46th out of 50 in the in the states in the amount of money we spend per capita on our highways we rank in the bottom fifth is that where we want to be that combined with our winters being far worse than the other four states that are below us will buy you the worst roads in the entire nation study after study have shown what it will take to solve this crisis and every budget that we fail to act is another lost construction season in Michigan. Not only that, but the cost of fixing the roads increases each fiscal year as well, both in terms of construction costs and the number of lane miles that will need to be completely rebuilt due to our failure to invest in the proper preventative maintenance early on. The reality is we've been after bad for decades. We're wasting taxpayer dollars putting a hot and cold patch on roads that need to be repaved or rebuilt. We're dumping huge sums of money into bridges for a short-term fix to avoid having to lower truck weight limits when these bridges will need to be rebuilt just a few years later anyway. And we're also all paying a hidden tax here in Michigan. It's the tax we pay for new tires new rims, windshields, and steering that we wouldn't need to buy if we made the proper investment in our roads in the first place. It's the rapid depreciation of our vehicles because of the beating they take on our roads. It's in our financial interest to fix the roads, yet here we are today voting on a budget that fails to address this crisis that impacts every single community in our state. At this juncture, the question we have to ask ourselves is, how dire will this crisis come before we act? I urge my colleagues to join me in voting no, as we can't afford to continue ignoring our infrastructure crisis in this state. 